Hi guys and welcome to TextForce 1.5 Overview. Those of you who are not familiar with TextForce can follow version 1 Overview. It is at the bottom of the product page. Everything you will learn from version 1 is also present in version 1.5. Ok, let's start. This feature has been added in version 1.1, so I will recap it. Let's copy this text block and paste it into the comp. Sometimes it may happen to work with very long text files like this one. To split the text into multiple rows, I added the separate tool here. It let text separation by the common punctuation such as commas, periods and so on. Let's try it. Text is split into multiple rows and it is separated by comma and comma etc. Well, let's undo and enable the remove punctuation option. Separate and the punctuation is removed from the text rows. Of course, now it's very simple to edit each out of screen text block to make sure it's all readable. And when it's done, I click on the reset button, which remember, if text is not animated, will save the text changes inside TextForce expressions. Well, I remove all the text and I'm gonna copy paste a new text block. As you see, it is separated by new lines. So, in version 1.5, I added the ability to split text by new lines. Well, here there is a comma, but whatever. Let's try it. And done. Well, I added three brand new animation styles. They are on bottom. Zoom track, continuous slide, and rotational, also in the override panel. I already set the animation to let you see them in action. Full right, they all work in rows and words mode, not paragraph. Another new feature is the text background. Just enable it and change the background color. The color box margin is set to 10 pixels. Animate and it works. Let's increase the margin to 30 pixels. And as you see, the solid color is now bigger. Exactly 30 pixels. I can also enable the random color generator. Animate. In this case, each text block has a different background color. If I open the settings, there are new options. Let's start from the absolute speed factor. As you see, all the styles are listed and each one has its own speed factor value. It is a value reference the animation engine used to determine each style absolute speed and I refine all the values over time. So, if you suppose a style is in general too fast or too slow, now you are able to tweak the speed factor reference value. The values range from 0 to 5. Bigger means slower. So, I animated these text blocks. Let's pretend the speed of the last style is too fast. Well, I set the continuous slide factor value from 1.6 to 2. Remember, bigger will produce slower animations. As you see, now all the text styles lengths stay the same, but continuous one, which is slower. Let's set a low value, like 1. The last animation is going to be faster. To get back to the default value, just click on the style D button. If many values are modified, the default all button will bring them all back to the default. The speed factor values are saved on disk each time they are changed, so you won't lose them when you close AI. Look at these text blocks. Two rows, three rows, two rows again. As expected, the text blocks are separated by rows and words. But I can't really tell which cuts belong to the first block, the second or the third. To get the visual feedback of each text block, 
there is a new labels option in the settings. So set the first label to yellow and the second to blue. Let's animate again. As you see, each text block gets an alternative yellow or blue color. It will come in handy for the upcoming new animation and editing workflow. I set an audio sync animation. Have a look. Now open the Adjust Cuts panel here. It consists of three different tools. The first one is the Move tool, which can move the selection in order to start at current time or to end at current time. Ok, select just the first layer and move it back. As expected, all the following text stay in place. Undo and now enable Move Following Text accordingly. As you see, all the following layers move back together with the selection. Of course, the opposite doesn't work because there are no layers following the last one. Ok, undo and talk about the stretch. When the panel is open, a stretch layer is added on top. A quick look at the animations. Well, this animation is very slow, so let's stretch to make it faster. Layer selected, I set a stretch in at the starting marker. As you see, the stretch layer in point is set. Now set the stretch out time. And when I click on set, the text animation is stretched to fit the stretch layer. Ok, now it works. You are allowed to stretch multiple layers at once, I'll show you later. Now move on and talk about the out tool. So let's pretend I need to make this layer hold on until the current time. Just click on the hold button and as you see the animation ends here but not the layer and point. Undo. The other out option is to fade out. In this case the animation stops here and an opacity out make the layer disappear at current time. Well, before to move on, I want to show you the multi stretch. Manually set the stretch layer in and out. You can. And select all the text animations, set, and as expected, all the layers are stretched accordingly. I loaded and generated sync markers already. In TextForce 1, when an animation is generated, it always starts at the first audio marker, right? Well, not anymore. In fact, in version 1.5, when I animate, the animation starts at the marker closer to current time, this one. This new approach makes it possible to animate and sync text blocks one by one. Undo and open the Adjust Cuts panel. Select the first layer. Animate. The problem is, when I animate, the selected text overlaps the following text blocks. Well, not if I enable the Move Following Text option, because it also affects the Animate command. As you see, the following text blocks, animated or not, are adapted to the animated selection. Undo. Just to be clear, if the following option is enabled, but the panel is not open, the following option does not work. Undo and open the Adjust panel again. So, you can really animate text one by one and then adjust it the way you like and recognize each text block thanks to the labels. Let's try it. Animate the first block. I like it. Select the next text block. Set the time to the next good audio marker and animate. This one is not cool, so I'll give it another try. Good, but this one is too short, so set the stretch in, the out, and set. Ok, 
Now it works. Well, move on the third block, animate. Cool. And now the last block. Oh, right. It is very slow because I set it to words. Let's open the override panel and force the rows split. Animate again. To make it end on the last music hit, I can fade out this text. Cool. Play all. Well, I hope you like the new TextForce workflow and tools. They really give you the control and flexibility missed in version 1. That's all. Enjoy TextForce. Cheers. This is the last minute add-on. In the styles window, when you disable the random directions, they are all still random. This option lets you choose to set some styles direction while keeping the others random. Enjoy!